Number four, keep your baits close to the bottom or close to the pike to be more accurate. So if the water is not clear, pike would be able to spot it because uh, when it's cold, they are most likely staying very close to the bottom. Plus, if water is clear and pike spotted a dead bait somewhere on three meters, but pike is staying somewhere on eight meters, they, they won't go that far, trust me. Number five, remember that pike usually feed in the second half of the day and really big pike feed right at the sunset. So don't leave too early because you can catch your record pike even if you haven't had a single strike earlier. Number six, in general pike, especially big pike, are very smart creatures. Trust me, but uh, very good memory and only hunger makes them careless and stupid. If you have caught a pike on some particular lure and you have released it and you would like to try to catch it again, it would be smart to use a different lure or a bait. In popular pike fishing places where most pike were caught many times on almost all lures, you would need to find something new that those pike haven't seen, but which obviously would look edible to them. Of course, you could also use a lure, not a dead bait, but that lure has to be able to act properly at very low speed. It's, as I already said, not more than one meter per three, five seconds. And a few years ago, two years ago actually, I discovered Mike the Pike, made by the Westin, which today is in my box with Westin's different combos, plus some other similar lures. And Mike the Pike in particular become my favorite lure for Pike for any season. And first of all, uh, for winter, because this lure can act really well at very 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 low speed but I think I'm going to talk about Mike the Pike as I mentioned before on some different day of course you can use different lures that will move slowly in general but at the same time they would act well with a proper road action like twitching for example well, if you are capable of making them behave like that. But still, uh, from my observation, pike, uh, allure shouldn't jump, act too fast. Because behaving like that and doesn't really attract slow winter pike. Flies should also work well during the winter time and and that's why we are going to try them now. There are two beautiful flies. I tried them before and I filmed a few nice attacks on them and I caught a few nice pike as well. But still, in my opinion, they won't be able to outcompete Mike the Pike because apart from the fact that Mike the Pike can act really well at very low speed, it is also acts or moves and looks exactly like a real pike, which is uh, really provocative for a fish pike. But as I said, I think I will talk about it, Mike the Pike, on a different day. So this is briefly all what I wanted to tell you about pike fishing during cold times. I keep filming new tests and doing new video researches, so you are welcome to watch all that I have managed to capture on my video channel. As I've got a chance to speak, I would like to remind all who does fishing in Ireland that they must follow fishing 
uh, Irish fishing regulations that can be found on IFI website and to report pollution or poaching 24 hours a day call 1890347424 this number will be in the description below the player and in one of my comments below this video and in my personal opinion it should be forbidden to take and kill pike in any Irish waters at all because they are very important part of the underwater ecosystem so please release all pike you catch if you want to be able to do fishing tomorrow last cast A very beautiful fly. I caught fish on it before and I filmed strikes underwater before but today I caught no fish on any of those good lures that worked really well before. There could be a few different reasons but main reason I think that uh, fish was taken from all canals and small rivers. I remember even like five years ago I could come to this stretch, I know this stretch of the canal <clears throat> and I, with any lure any cheap Chinese lure, at that time I had no good lures I could catch two, three pike in one hour, no problem now I spent one hour and I caught no fish on very good lures but I'm not going to try, I have dead baits in the car I'm not going to try them here I see we should get some sun at the end of the day as forecast predicted and as I said you can see four seasons <coughs> in Ireland in one day sun should bring wind as well I'm going to drive to a different canal which is more clear than this one so I would be able to use in the water camera as well and I'm going to use dead baits and use different techniques hopefully hopefully those techniques will work today at least something at the end of the day but we'll see anyway so let's go I moved a little bit away from that area because there are too many people, too many fishermen I don't believe there are any fish left so I have about half an hour before the sunset and there is a wind, some wind picked up the sky cleared so I think conditions are good and what I have today I had not proper size dead bait so I am going to use smaller what I had this is the size it's much smaller than I would like to have but there are two on the same rig with one hook only my my Another theory, different theory, which I proved to myself that two dead baits attracting predators better than one. We'll see. And there is a float which is going to pull and uh, dead baits keep them on particular depth and pull them away from the shore. And there is a camera on the same float which hopefully is going to film how Pike is going to attack if it will, if it's going to attack. Okay, let's try. Yeah. Now we need to cast it and drag it away from the shore. That's how it works. Yeah, it's fine. Now I'm going to walk slowly. That's a key to success during winter time in pike fishing. 